Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your USB ports are not working or responding properly on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, search for device manager, best match, should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the Universal Serial Bus Controller section, so double-click on it. And then you want to right-click on any USB devices in here, and you want to update the driver, and select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then you want to select Next. Again, you want to go through the list here and do that for all the items listed in here. Something else we could try here as well, if you close out of here, Open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a command in the description of my video here, guys. Go ahead and copy that. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and paste that in. Hit enter and then you want to select the advanced button. Check mark versus apply repairs automatically and then select next. And then hopefully that would have resolved the issue. Back in the command prompt here, you can type in SFC and then a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This process will take some time, so please be patient. Okay, so once that scan has concluded, you want to go ahead and close out of here, and then you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point your issues should have been resolved. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.